Would you like to pay with cash or card upon delivery? It's going to be cash. All right, cash it is. Just to confirm, you ordered a small garlic chicken Alfredo and a personal The Works Pizza for delivery to 4000 ABC Street. Your total will be $35.98. Hello everyone, Lucas Dentas here bringing another high level content and today it's going to be special because I'm going to show you how you can create an AI employee to pick up phone calls and in today's example, I'm going to show how you can create one for a pizza place and with no further ado, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. So here we are, I'm sharing my screen with you. You see that I'm at the AI agent section on the high level. For you to get here, you're going to click on settings on the left bottom corner. Then you click on voice AI agents and you're going to see this screen right here. All the agents you have created. If you haven't created an agent, you're going to see this empty. And right after you create one, it's going to show up right here. I'm going to show you my agent for a pizza place that I have created. This is Sophia. So right after I click on edit, I see the agent details. So here is the name of the agent. Here is the business name. I'm going to change this name to make a more or generic name because soon I'm gonna be showcasing this to all pizza places in my area so I can sell this AI agent so then I choose the language there are some new languages here if you're not aware yet there's Portuguese now Spanish French German Italian and Dutch I haven't tested them but I would advise you to test so you can see which one works better for you. And for this agent, I have chosen Sylvia and I have tested this voice. It's very good, very good diction. And you see it's millennial sound. Some voices are so robotic that it's clear. Like from the get go, you know that it's an AI agent. So this one, I think it's very natural and that's why I chose this one. So here I have the option for inbound call. That's the only option we have as of now, but soon they will be making it available for us to do outbound calls. Imagine how crazy that will be. And here we have the initial message. So this is the first sentence the agent will say whenever they pick up the phone. And I'm gonna change this to ABC Pizza. Uh, this is Sophia, how can I help you today? This is okay, I'm gonna save. And now we're gonna go to agent goals. Now at agent goal section, that's when we set up the brain of our AI agent. Everything that the AI agent needs to know, we need to set up on this prompt right here. We still do not have a knowledge base, so make sure that everything that the bot needs to know, you are adding to this prompt. And here I'm gonna show you how I created this prompt. I'm not gonna go through the full prompt with you guys, but I will add a link to the description of this video so you can grab this snapshot with the AI agent if you're interested. But at least I'm gonna explain the structure so you can at least understand what I have done here. And if you would like more information about how to create better prompts, there's also a link right here. You see prompt guidelines. So you can click on this link to get more information about how to build better prompts. So basically here I have background info. I say, Sophia, you are dedicated customer support specialist at ABC Pizza, assisting customers with their orders. Here I'm using some variables that show the current date and time. Then business info. Here is address information, business hours, uh, the delivery policy, like the radius, which areas we attend, which areas we do not. Here we have the key objectives. So basically the key objectives are every single objective that this bot needs to achieve during the call. Capture customer information, take and confirm orders, process, pick up or deliver instructions, provide clear order confirmation, and escalate non-order related inquiries to a team member. So here we have the sequence of how this is going to happen. So order capture process. And we have a greeting and then gather contact information. Then we have menu selection. And here I add every single option on the menu, every single size and their respective prices as well. So here we have the toppings, every single pizza that is available at the place that they have on their menu in every single price associated with each type of pizza. I have added everything here to this prompt so the bot knows. And here we have the confirm and order special instructions, pick up delivery confirmation, final confirmation and closing, and here additional rules, which is basically other additional information that you want to add to your agent, to your bot, so they know how to handle other types of questions. And what I have done is, if you just tell the bot here on the prompt to transfer the call to a number, the bot will not do that. The agent will not do that. And that's why they created these actions right here. So here is where the magic happens. And we have all these actions available. Call transfer, trigger a workflow, update contact field, send SMS. And in this example, we are only using call transfer and update contact field. But you will see, I also have a workflow on the back end after a contact field is updated. So the call transfer, 
how am I using this? When I click on here, I can add the action name. And here is just a name. I have even have a typo here, so transfer. Here I have added the number that I would like to transfer. And here I, I set up when should the call transfer take place. So I've said if the caller would like to talk to a manager or to a subject not related to a placing an order. Basically, anything that's not related to placing an order, the call will be transferred. And I can even set up what's going to be said right before the call is transferred. And the bot will say, okay, no problem. We are going to transfer you. Very easy. You know, it's not complicated. Just follow the instructions here and you'll be able to create one that works well for you. So here I'm going to click on save. And here on the update contact field, you'll see all the fields that we are updating during this conversation. The first one is the name. So here I have selected the first name as the field. So you'll be able to select any of the fields they have in the system. And there's one thing you are only able to use text fields on this one. So if it's not a text field, you won't be able to select. So if you need custom fields, make sure you add that as a text field. So here I'm choosing the first name and then what to update in the field, name of the user provider on the call. Here's you giving a clear instruction to the agent of how this field should be populated. And here a few examples. You see, and then you do that for every single field that you would like to update. Here we're doing the address, the order, which is basically every single line item that the person will order on the phone. The order total. This is the total order amount how much people will be paying for their order. Inspection instructions. That's when someone would like to remove pepperoni or they would like to add extra cheese. Order type. The goal of this field is to save if this field is a pickup or a delivery order. Time for pickup. This is only if someone say they would like to pick up for later. If they don't say it's a pickup for later, it's going to give them the default time of how long the orders usually take. And then the payment method, it's which is basically asking them for cash or card. And all this information is added to the workflows in internal notifications and you see how and of course you can get more creative you can add more functions to your bot you are able to trigger a workflow during a conversation if you would like you can send an sms right after the call if you would like as well in this case we are doing an sms but we are creating this through a workflow after a field is updated and lastly we have receive email notification post call completion. I'm going to show you an example of an email. So this is an example of an email that is sent out right after a call ended. You see it shows the caller's name, the number, uh, the call duration. You see the AI agent and the call summary. You see the information that was collected and the whole conversation in here as well. So here you can read every single thing that was said during the conversation. It's amazing, right? And if you would like to have more people receiving this type of email, you can set up it right here. So you, here you can add all of your users or you can add a specific user right here. And that's it. And you can also specify every single user here as well if you want to do that. And you have the option for a custom email. So you select what makes sense for you on this part right here. Now we have phone and availability. Here you select what phone number the bot, the agent will be responsible for picking up the calls. If you have more than one number, you're going to see all the numbers you have available. But you can only add one AI agent per number. And if you are using IVR, like I am on this number right here, you can see it. I'm not able to select. I either select an AI agent to pick up the calls or an IVR. The other thing I could do is to set up an IVR and a number for an AI agent. And then whenever someone types a specific number during the IVR, I connect with that AI agent. So that's something that I can do as well. But you can be creative. You can choose what makes sense for you. In this case, I'm going to be telling people to call this number. So I don't have to create an IVR or anything more complex. I just need to make sure that the ball will handle all calls whenever I call this number. And here is where you can select if it's going to be a backup agent. The backup agent will only pick up the call if the phone number is not picked up by one of your agents. If nobody picks up the call, that's when the AI agent will jump in. If you have this option disabled, the AI agent will answer all the calls. And also you can do the set working hours for agent if you would like this agent to only work at a certain amount of time, like only Mondays, only Tuesdays, or only outside of business hours. That's when you select right here. In this case, this is going to be a 24 seven agent. So I don't, I don't have to enable any of these settings. And the last is the dashboard and logs here. You can see all the calls that the agent has done, the sentiment, how many actions were triggered, the number of total calls, 
the total duration, the average call duration as well, you can see. And you can see the summary right here. You can uh, rate the calls. You can download the call recording. You can see the call transcript. So this is an amazing tool. Everybody's talking about vertical AI at high level. Just created a tool that makes it easier for you to set up this. It's insane, right guys? And now it's the part that you guys were waiting, which is the test. And I'm going to be doing two tests right here. The first one, we're going to get an order for a delivery. And the other one, we're going to ask to talk to the manager because we had a problem with our previous order. ABC Pizza, this is Sophia. How can I help you today? Hi, Sophia. My name is Lucas. I would like to put an order in. Great, Lucas. Is this order for pickup or delivery? It's for delivery. Perfect. Could you please provide your address for the delivery? Uh, my address is 4000 ABC Street, Bettendorf, Iowa. Just to confirm, your address is 4000 ABC Street, Bettendorf, Iowa? That's correct. Is that correct? Yep. Awesome. Awesome. What would you like to order today? Um, I would like uh, a garlic chicken Alfredo pizza and... What is uh, what is our what are your specialties? Our specialty pizzas include options like the Cross Deluxe, the Works, Buffalo Chicken, and more. Would you like to hear about any specific ones? Uh, I would like to do a, a small garlic chicken Alfredo and uh, a Got personal a the work. Sure thing. So a small garlic chicken Alfredo and a personal the Works pizza. Yes. Would you like to add a... Great choice. Would you like to add or remove any toppings on those? No. I'm good with the, how they are. Perfect. Would you like to pay with cash or card upon delivery? It's going to be cash. All right, cash it is. Just to confirm, you ordered a small garlic chicken Alfredo and a personal The Works Pizza for delivery to 4000 ABC Street. Your total will be $35.98. Does that sound correct? Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Your order will arrive in less than 30 minutes. Thanks for choosing Sports Fans Pizza, Lucas. Have a great day. Thank you. You're welcome. That was amazing, right? And now I'm going to do another test, asking to call the manager. But I do have to do one thing first, which is changing the number for the manager because right now it's my number so i'm going to share my screen with you guys here i'm going to go to my voice ai agent right here on the agent goes and on the call transfer i'm going to change this number to my skype number and then i'll be able to see the call coming in there we go abc pizza this is sophia how can I help you today hi sophia uh i'll like to speak to the manager i have called you guys last night and i had a problem with my order Okay, no problem. We are going to transfer you. I've transferred you to a manager who can help with your issue. Okay. You see? You see? That's crazy, right guys? It's amazing what this tool does. And I'm gonna even take you to the back end because here is going to show you the message I have received. I am a manager of this account, so this is why I received this internal notification, but the client will receive this one, which tells them I need to change this to ABC Pizza, and it tells them when their order is going to arrive and their total. Isn't that amazing by itself? And just here, I can check the workflow so you understand how I have done this without using the native function to trigger workflow. Like I said, what I'm using is contact changed, so whenever a service of interest change, this is the field that I'm saving if it's a pickup or a delivery. And here is where I do the distinction between what message is going to be sent if it's pickup or delivery. Here, I do the distinction based on the order type. This is the field that is updated during the conversation. And if it's a pickup, it sends internal notification. You see it right here, inspection, inspection instructions and an SMS, your pickup order will be delivering and you'll be ready in 25 minutes. And then here is the delivery internal notification. And here is the SMS saying that your order will be received in less than 25 minutes. So this one is for pickup. This one is for delivery. And here I have the if condition to make sure that it has both scenarios, both branches, so I can do different things based on this scenario. Guys, 
that's basically it i would like to thank you for watching this whole video and before we finish this video i would like to leave you with two recommendations one of them is closebot closebot is an ai tool that i connected to all my conversation channels inside of my level very easy to set up very effective and i absolutely love it and i'm going to leave a video right here so you can learn more about it and the second one is how to create custom fields in high level and if you are struggling with the types of fields you are not able to customize things properly this video will help you on customizing your crm in a better way guys thank you so much see you on the next one